Yes. 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 Thank you, Ravens. Thank you. I told you guys, from the moment we hit the offseason, one move I wanted to see the Ravens do was lock up Gus Edwards. That's, if you didn't make any other move, that was one you needed to do. Now, we're going to talk about that, but we're going to start off with something different because this is a two-for-one. The Ravens made multiple moves today. Let's start with the first one. The Ravens went out and signed offensive tackle Jawan James. They gave him a two-year $9 million deal. Now, of course, he still has to pass his physical, but other than that, the deal's worth up to $9 million. He's going to be on the team if he can pass his physical, and you know how the whole situation goes. So, yeah. Now, of course, um, we all know James did uh, rupture his Achilles back in April, so he's not going to play this season. This is more of a deal that's prepared for, you know, the 2022 season because, of course, you, you, we do have Villanueva as a right tackle right now, but you don't know exactly where he's going to stand in 2022. Nor do, you, uh, nor do we know how he's going to look at the end of this season. So this is just insurance. You have another guy come in for that right tackle spot. And then next year, if Villanueva is not looking great or something happens, they will at least have another guy they can put in that's a veteran that knows how to play that spot. They can put him in. So this is basically a deal for insurance. So I'm cool with that. I'm fine. Solid deal. Making moves, still waiting for them, trying to go get Houston or something. But you know what? That's a different case. Now, let's get into our main event. Gus the Bus Edwards. I, the only way I see them getting this deal done the way they did is if Gus Edwards is completely content with being in Baltimore and he loves being here and he wants to be here and he wants to stay here. Because there's no way you pull off this deal the way they did. They gave this man, Gus Edwards, a two-year, $10 million extension. Huh? Really now? Two years? $10 million? For the production Gus Edwards is giving you? The man, over the past three seasons, has rushed for over 2,100 yards. And he's not even the number one back. Sometimes he's the two, sometimes he's the three. But he's consistent for all three seasons he's been with us. He's, get, he's rushed for over 700 yards. He's been consistently great. I'm telling you, he could have gone anywhere else. And just based on the production, somebody could have given him more. I mean, for God's sakes, this dude is averaging like five yards a carry. Five yards a carry. Are you telling me this guy couldn't go to another team and get more money? Nah, that's how you know he loves Baltimore. That's how you know he wants to stay in Baltimore. He loves this place. He has to love this place. You can just tell. Because it take that a two-year, $10 million extension. I am surprised to see him take that. And I'm glad he took that. Because I wanted Gus Edwards back so much. This guy, him and J.K. Dobbins are a deadly combo. And what they can do in this run game... Is, is something special. And I'm hoping that this upcoming season, the Ravens just let these two loose. You just let them deal with the run game. Let's cut back on the um, Lamar carries, especially when you're doing those quarterback design runs. Let's take those design runs and just give them to Gus and JK as extra carries and just let them dominate in the run game. Lamar does not have to take off unless he chooses to scramble. Let's get rid of the design runs or at least minimize the, the design runs as much as we can and either use them for extra pass plays or just give those carries to Gus and JK because these two, I'm telling you, they're a deadly combo. They're a deadly duo. So you have... You have to feed these guys. You have to feed these guys, which is why I'm just hoping the Ravens are willing to make that change to just focus on them being the bulk of the run game, have them be the ones that lead the run game, and have Lamar do, do what he does as a quarterback, but also know that he still has the ability to take off when there's nothing there. Just The only time Lamar should be running in 2021 is when nobody's open and he wants to make a play. Let him scramble. But other than that, nah, design runs, sit those down. Sit those down. He doesn't need to do those design runs. That's why you have J.K. Dobbins, and that's why you have Gus the Bus Edwards. So, yeah, you can tell I am very happy to see that this man is coming back. 
I, well, I mean, already, we already knew he was coming back for this season, but then you still have to get a deal done. So I, I'm glad to know that he's going to be here at least for the next couple years alongside J.K. Dobbins. This is going to be a deadly running duo for the next couple years, and I'm glad to see. I can't wait to see these guys play, man. Can't wait to see these guys play this season. It's going to be something special. This run game is going to be something special with that duo. And it'll be even more special if it's just them doing it as opposed to having Lamar do what he does. You don't need Lamar to rush for another 1,000 yards this season. I would love it if Lamar rushes for like 400 to 500 yards this season just because they cut down on his carries and give it to Gus. It'd be great because I'm telling you, you give those extra carries to those two guys, both of them will rush for 1,000 yards this season. It would be something spectacular. But yeah, um, definitely, definitely happy that the Ravens got this done. Excited to see that Gus is going to be here for the next couple years, and he's going to be that deadly one-two combo alongside, you know, J.K. Dobbins, because you had to get these guys back. You had to. You had to keep these two together. What you have with these guys in the run game is special. Losing one of that would be tough. It would definitely be tough. So I'm, I'm glad these guys are going to be here. These two are definitely going to be here together as a running back duo or combo for the next several years. So that's great to see. And other than that, uh, the move with James was definitely, I, I'm fine with it. I'm cool with it. I think it's a good deal. I think it's a good move, especially as an insurance for that right tackle position heading into, you know, 2022 and potentially 2023. You never know how that's going to go. So, yeah, smart move. Not to mention, we just don't know what Villanueva is going to look like in 2022. We know what he's going to do this season, and we'll see how it goes. He, trust me, he's going to handle that right tackle position. He's going to be fine. So we, we, I feel like he's going to be good this season, so he should be fine. But we don't know where he's going to be next season in terms of how he's going to look. So it, it's smart to get an insurance now if you can get a veteran player, especially since right now he's not exactly going to be playing because, you know, he is injured. Oh, crap. What the hell was that? Especially since he's injured. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, um, I'm just glad that – we just got Gus back. That's really all that matters to me. I'm just glad that we got Gus back. I'm excited to see that Gus is still going to be here for the next couple of years. And yeah, I just got nothing else to really say about that situation. So uh, yeah, Ravens making smart moves here. Uh, making sure Gus is going to be here for the foreseeable future alongside J.K. Dobbins. And making sure that offensive line has an extra, an extra veteran that can be insurance, especially for that right tackle position. So, yeah, some smart moves from the Ravens today. Don't really have any complaints about the signings or the deals. Yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm just I'm glad that they pulled this off today. It is what it is in terms of the whole Julio situation. I know a lot of people are still salty about that. Let it go, guys. He wasn't coming here most likely. Just let it go. It's not that serious. Move on. But, yeah, glad Gus is going to be here with us for the next couple years. Glad we're getting insurance revolving the offensive line. And, yeah, that's really all I got to say. With that being said... That's all I got, and I'm out of here, man. Peace.